Hi everybody! I haven't vlogged. Oh, I didn't say hi guys. That's my signature thing. Hi guys! <laughs> I haven't vlogged in a very long time, but something exciting has happened. Ben and I got married. There's the ring. And we're currently on our honeymoon. So we are in Paris and we've actually been here for a couple of days. No, more than a couple of days. Like over a week or almost a week yeah almost a week we got here on monday and it is now sunday but i've been wanting to vlog but i just haven't done it so today i'm forcing myself to vlog because i know i will want it for the memories later and we're doing some quintessentially parisian things today <laughs> like we're going to go to this market to get some lunch and then we're going to eat lunch by the eiffel tower and then we're going to go to the louvre so all those things are pretty standard paris things that we should vlog we're in our hotel room right now i'll give you a tour of it later maybe if i have time and remember to do it but right now it's kind of a mess so i don't have time to tidy it up anyway here's a view outside our window though we are in the opera district i think it's called um it's where the What's that building called? Which one? The Palais? I don't think that's here, is it? Some sort of opera palace is here somewhere and we walked by it, but I couldn't tell you where it is in relation to our hotel. Anyway, that's the district we're in. We're gonna go now, gonna get some coffee and start on our day. got my coffee you can't really see it but trust me it is delicious and we're on the way to the metro Ben said I should document the name of the coffee place it's called Ron Note now I'm gonna drink it because right now it's just sitting in my hand I can't do too many things at once this is why I haven't been vlogging <laughs> okay I'm gonna drink it now this is the opera building by our hotel Scarlett Johansson is on the side of it. <laughs> We're still trying to find the metro. There is the front. And behind us is the metro. That's the one we're getting. Eight. Should be going left and turning around. That's it. Yep. Wants to go across the street, but it doesn't really matter. what we want, the cheese. We got everything we needed at the market. Here's my bag of fruit. Bread, cheeses, meats. Now we're going to the wine store. Okay, here's the sandwich situation we're looking at. We're sitting on a bench like thing by the Eiffel Tower. We got baguette, cheese, salami, and some sort of other meat. 
Oh, I forgot about my tomato. I guess I should put that on there next. Okay, a little update. We moved places because bees were attacking. So now we're in the middle and we have a good view of the Eiffel Tower. Ben's got a beer. I have a glass of wine. He's eating a sandwich. And here we go. We also have some strawberries here. Ben said they were very good. Haven't had any yet. But... Ben stretching. I'm gonna continue eating. We're done with our picnic. Now we're going to the Louvre. But just thought I'd show a couple of cafes on the corner. Very Parisian. We need to get back on the metro over there. Back in the metro. Here we go. Getting off at where? Opera. That's where we are. to enter now. We are in the Louvre. Here we go. somewhere.
on a mound of something in front of a lit up Eiffel Tower. If you can see it, there you go. And we're waiting for it to sparkle. So, just kind of hanging out. And has a beer again. He's holding me by so far. <laughs> and we're waiting. <laughs> it has lit up. There it is. car we're getting luggage in here is Ben driving the rental car it's white interior which is nice because it is super hot here and it's a six shift and it's also a convertible because they had to upgrade us because it wasn't GPS compatible and I ordered a GPS not knowing that my phone GPS was gonna work so that was probably a waste but it's okay, it wasn't that much more money anyway. Anyway, this is the drive. We have 20 minutes till we get to our hotel. I would say it's been pretty successful so far. The AC's going, I am getting cooler, and we're almost there. Here's the room. Have a little terrace. 
looking out that way. Little table and chair. Coffee. TV. Aircon. Yeah. Okay, so we're a little bit famished from the train ride. So we ordered a charcuterie board available 24-7. And we're eating it on the little balcony. Very peaceful. Quite a transition from Paris. Very big difference. <laughs> so Ben and I are settled in now. We just sat at the pool for a little bit. I got a pina colada. We cooled off some. And now we're going to go into the town of St. Remy and find a place to eat. Does my face look presentable? I think it does for the most part. Anyway, I forgot to film at the pool, so I'll film when we're back there again. Let's go. So I was saying earlier that the car we got was upgraded to a convertible, and we have the roof down. We were a little hesitant at first, but we did it, and it worked, and it was just fine. And while it's still hot, it's really not that bad when the sun's not shining down on you. It's not really like Florida or something where like even though it's nighttime you're like still dead. Are you waiting for directions? Mm -hmm. Okay, we got the directions and we're driving this into town. So In 400 meters, turn right. Oh, okay. It's not bad. Oh, there's the pool area. And then the town. So there's a lot of people that make the walk. I thought we would be the only ones. Everyone's going down for some dinner. It's 7.17, the restaurants are open. Heading into the town area. Looking cute so far, looking In cute. In 200 meters, turn left. Ice cream. Ben actually got ice cream Cookie for dough. the first time in a while. He doesn't usually go for ice cream, but we're walking down a cute street in the town. Very quaint. Mm -hmm. Little town. So quaint. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna turn this off now because it's awkward. Oh my gosh, we have spotted cat. It's going after something. It's going after a bug. But it's super cute. Oh, it caught it. But also looks super wild. Full stringy. Oh, it's cute though. Just did a photo sesh in front of this wall. Very Instagrammy. <laughs> Bye, kitty. Hi guys, it's the next day now. It's a Tuesday in St. Remy, and we're going out now to the town during the day. When I think some of the stores will be open still. Um, we ate or we drank our coffees outside this morning. Took a shower and now we're heading out again. We are at a crepe place. I got a cafe. Then got sparkling water. <laughs> and we're waiting for our food. There's those weird things. But the window's open now so you can see them real good. We're done eating now. I'm trying to find some sandals because I don't have sandals because my luggage was lost. But we're gonna try up there. Ben and I are back from the town now. We had a good lunch. It was a crepe with an egg in the middle and mine had cheese and ham and it was kind of folded in. I forget the name of it, but I'll post a picture over here because I don't think I took a video. Anyway, we had that um, and there was ham in it. Did I say that already? I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, we're back now. We're gonna go sit at the pool and maybe have a drink of some sort. I have my hat on for protection and let's go.
It is later on now. We chilled in the room for a little bit because we got a little bit overheated at the pool. Ben laid on the bed for quite a while. I sat on the chair over there listening to Beyonce. I drank a little bit of a wine I bought at this store while we were out. It was pretty good. And now we're heading back out again. We're going to a little town that's next to St. Remy. It's called Mosin Les Apilles. I don't really know how to pronounce these things, so I probably butchered that, but that's the name of the town. And it's about 15 minutes away, so we're gonna go there and just check it out for a little bit and eat some dinner there. But most of the restaurants don't open until 7.30 or 7, so it's 5.40 right now, so we'll probably walk around for a little bit and then do some eating. street we're walking on there's a little canal right there that's cute the sunset looks very nice tonight very pinky it is wednesday now and ben and i are in the car we're going to a town that's nearby saint remy and it's called les beaux de provence we're gonna eat some lunch there um walk around the shops there i think it's pretty small so i think we're also going to try to go to another town near les Mots de provence which is called arl i think arl in 200 meters a r l e s anyway that's the plan for today any updates nope we had a great drive home yesterday that was fun Ben really liked the drive home yesterday. I filmed a little bit of it. Turn left. Um, but it was like windy roads going down to that town we went to yesterday through mountain type things. Yes. I believe they call it the Alp Hill here. Um, I think we're probably gonna do the same thing today, the yeah. same type of drive because it's near that town too. Um, anyway, yeah, I have nothing much 
much else to say. We're going to the top of a mountain. <coughs> Coming. <coughs> okay, we survived. We did not die by that bus. We're still making our way up the mountain. We have to take a long walk up various terrains of hill to get there. I'm a little bit out of shape. It's up a little bit higher. We're done at what was the place called again? <laughs> uh, we're done at Le Beau, the Falls now, and we're on the way to Arles. I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that right. Anyway, it's about a little under a half hour drive there, but right now we have 18 minutes left. So not too bad. I'm eating this lollipop I got while we were in that town. It's strawberry flavored and it looks cute. Let's see how it is. Tastes familiar. Kinda tastes like a kind of creamy lollipop. I like it. It's good. Very summery. Ooh. There's a lot of speed bumps in the South of France. Probably so you don't hit pedestrians. But it's a little bumpy.
This is the small one. Apparently there's a bigger one, but there was an event at it earlier. So, okay. we didn't go in it. our last full day in Provence. I'm pretty sad about it, but we're gonna make the most of the day. This morning, Ben and I had breakfast out on the terrace. It's cleaned up now. Here is the remnants of it. But I took a picture of it, so I'll insert that here. And we ate the breakfast on the terrace, and now we're going to make a trek to Lille de la Sorgue, then Gord, then, was after that, Roussillon, then potentially to the lavender fields, but Ben doesn't think we're going to have enough time to do all that stuff. So we'll see if we actually do, because I'm bad with timing things, so he's probably right. But we'll see. That is where we're going. They're kind of all in a line, so it should be timed out well. Everything at the end of it will have an hour drive back here, but... Yeah, we're going out an hour while making stops along the way. So let's get going. Oh wait, I should show you my outfit because this is my favorite outfit of the trip and I almost forgot that I brought it until I saw it in my suitcase this morning. Here it is. You can't really see because it's dark. I'll show you outside, but let's get going. This is Leo Sarasog, and we're just walking around now. It's extremely hot outside, <laughs> so um, I think I'm gonna need a refreshment soon, probably. But this is it. There's Ben, <laughs> waiting for me as usual. We just left Leo Sarasog. I have to say that was one of my least favorite places. How about you? place was nice it's just too many restaurants yeah there were many shops you could go into it was extremely hot and no shade and it was basically all restaurants and there was a market but there's like not really that much at the market other than weird clothing items <laughs> and some food items that we don't really need so our time there was short-lived it was cute how the water runs through it and everything but I just can't stand being out in the heat like that. So we're on our way to Gord or Gordis. I don't really know how you say it. And we'll see what we do there. I think it's another town that's old like Les Beaux de Provence. So I think I'm going to like it better than the last town.
How'd those people get over there? Lavender fields, there they are. But the lavender is dead. It's dead. Just like everything else around here, look, it's all dead. <sighs> it was a bit dramatic on my part, but um, we were kind of expecting it to be dead because everything around here is dead. Because I'm guessing there's no rain because it hasn't rained since we've been here and it's extremely hot. So, I think the season for the lavender is in the early summer or in the spring, but yeah, we missed it. That's okay. We're on the way back to the hotel now. Don't know what we're going to do when we get there, but we shall see. More lavender that is dead. It is dead. Look at it. Just picked. It might just be picked. I think it's picked and now it's dead. 